Commander. We got it. We finally got it. Good job, Rivers. Stay there. We're on our way. There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us, wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left, even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet 1. Uh, I still have to run some tests, so f for now I would say no. We need some more time, Connor. I know you don't want to hear this, Commander, but if there's one person who can help us, it's Dr. Mac. Mac? It, we don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. You've been watching him without telling me? You let your emotions cloud your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Mac's whereabouts were no longer this your bullshit. Concern. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that makes that's mistakes. Enough, Commander. You know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. I said that's enough. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. We wear it proudly. And knowing you're wearing such a badge, Rivers, is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. Commander Baron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second-generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. Sure, let's trust someone who gets called Dr. Death. That won't bite us in the ass. In the meantime, I'll see what I can learn from the new CPU we acquired from that infiltrator. This could be the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. I need to concentrate, so please don't disturb me. What do you need? Um, anything I should know about Dr. Mac before I leave? Only that he can't be trusted, and he's highly manipulative. So you need to stay cautious. Was Mac the one whose drone you smashed? Yes. Yes, it was. I've never told this to anyone, but... Before I met Mac and Perry, I was wandering alone. I didn't have a map, so I drew one myself. The first people I came across were two guys, old enough to remember Judgment Day. We camped out together. They gave me advice, we shared some stories. Sounds nice, right? A little too good to be true. It was. I was too naive to notice it back then. When I woke up, all my things were gone, including my map. There I was, lost in the desert. Thirst, hunger. I knew I was gonna die. I passed out with my face in the sand. But next thing, I was lying in a bed, bathed and wearing clean clothes. You're lucky someone found you. Someone did find me. 
too bad it was Skynet. Through the window, I saw thousands of Terminators. First, I thought it was a work camp, but it was something else. A Skynet research facility. They kept me alive, but I didn't know why. I thought I was the only human there. But after a while, someone came into my cell. A man. Well-dressed, clean-shaven. You want to take a guess who that was? An infiltrator. In a way. He was a traitor to his race. Bastard was selling every piece of knowledge the machines didn't have. In return, they gave him everything he wanted. When he was done stuffing his face with food, he had another request. He wanted a whore. It lasted months, until I got to wrap a towel around his neck and make his eyes pop. You don't want to see people for what they really are. I've seen their true face. That traitor, those two guys in the desert, Mac. They all showed it to me. It's not pretty. The truth is, the only reason I fight for the Resistance is because I despise people just a little less than the machines. Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there, since now it's behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Look at him. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there. I bet he's one of those machines. 
Jacob. What's the situation like in the shelter? Not that great. People get nervous. A lot have already left and even more plan to leave. Even Mark and Laura saw them packing earlier. And what about you? Uh, just the thought of running again is making me sick. I must be getting old. Plus, we got everything we could need right here. Where else would I go? Besides, I have faith that Baron would never let anything happen to this place. She's way too uptight about security. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, nah, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden, that became our life. Didn't you try to reach home? Some people did. Most of us were scared of what we'd find if we did get home. So we conveniently said we are stranded here anyways and stayed. Well, I know how stupid it sounds, but we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still have my guitar with me. We talked a lot about how we're gonna be famous, because we're the only living band in the world. You played in a band? I did. One of the few things I was better at than Tucker. He didn't have much talent, but he loved the idea of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, especially the first two. We were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. We paid the price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. What did you do? I froze. I didn't run to help. I didn't scream. I didn't even move. I just stood there, like a coward. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam! Just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. Earlier, you said that a new era started. What changed? Well, for one thing, with Tucker dead, I became the new leader of the group. Something I never expected or wanted, for that matter. What did you do about it? That same night, I looked around at all those people who survived, and I felt scared. Scared of what they expected of me. I started to walk away like I was on autopilot. I don't know if I wanted to run away or to kill myself, but, but then something surreal happened. I found a metal door in the ground in the middle of nowhere. I was real unsure about what I might find under it, but what I did find was the aftermath of a massacre. More Terminators? That's exactly what I thought at first, but it turned out to be something even more scary. It looked like they decided to commit suicide. I couldn't understand it. To me, they had everything. Food, water. They even had a case of beer. So, I got shit-faced and started crying over my brother's death. But I realized something. I realized that I could maybe survive there. Did you stay there by yourself? No. I told everybody about the place. I felt I owed them. After that, we were all right. That night, I learned two things. Firstly, that it's okay to be scared. Secondly, that there are two sides to everybody. Ironically, me being a scaredy-cat turned me into a good leader. 
And that's how I found that place, and that's what motivated me to help others. But Tucker, he was a leader from the start. But he had an ugly side, too. He killed those who opposed him. He was a real scumbag, but he was my brother. He made me want to be a good person for the both of us. Our hangover wasn't a high price to pay for that lesson. Shy Rivers, turn up the volume. See? I knew you'd like it. God damn it! I thought I told you, I can't work with so much noise, I need absolute silence, so please stop that! I swear I should just join Skynet! Oops. Why do you think Skynet doesn't have their plans in the South? Everyone's leaving. I think we should as well. Yeah, but where to? Need anything? Can I see your hardware? What's with the dogs? You're alive! No time for that. Do whatever it takes to get everyone out of that shelter. Do you understand? They're not safe there. What? Why? God damn it! What does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter?
Camera. Dr. Mac! Is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mac! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model. The Infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? How do I know you're not an infiltrator? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. If you want me to help you, you have to take a test for me. Test? Yes. To determine whether you're a Terminator or not. And be careful. I'm watching you.
fight you? Very clever way to make me think that you're not one of them. Unfortunately for you, I'm not that easily fooled. <laughs> We don't have time for any of this. Just tell me where you are. I am not a robot. Living tissue would make you a cybernetic organism, not a robot. Words have meaning. Conversations between human beings would be a lot easier if we all just trusted each other and understood the deeper meaning of what we said. Keep that in mind during this test. for a while now, all eight of them. Well, I guess with you in there, that makes it nine.
bad there's no water in that pool, I'd have you jump in and see if you float. Wait, that's a different test. My patience is wearing thin. Why am I even here? Here? On the stage, you mean? Um, because I wanted you to recite a poem. That's right, that's why I got you on this stage. To invoke the fear of public speaking in you. This will allow me to check your emotional response. Very important in these sort of tests. So, if you could go ahead and recite a poem. In the shadows where we live, searching for compassion. Oh, you're actually doing it? I wasn't really expecting that. So, you've been taught to obey orders. I see. Oh, now wait and be quiet. They regularly patrol this area. Don't let them see you. So you know I'm not a Terminator. Of course I do. They are way better shots than you. Then why are you making me do all this? <sighs> because I want you to grab something for me before I help you. Turn left when you leave the theater. There you'll find a plane crash site. My spider scout should be stuck somewhere around. Just grab it and bring it back to me in one piece.
Skynet completely took over this place. I could do something about that. I've got it. Good job. I'm in my vault in one of the buildings up the street. Meet me there.
looks like the place Aaron talked about. Locker? Where would I find a locker nearby?
This is it. I know it looks tempting, but please do not destroy that plasma container. It powers this whole laboratory. Sorry for making you run around like that. But because of the recent increase in Terminator patrols, I couldn't get to that spider scout myself. Can I see it? Thank you. I have a gift. That's a token of my appreciation. While you're out looking for my spider scout, I used some leftover parts to make a new radio for you. I've been picking up your signal for a while now, and I imagine that Skynet has as well. So, I've made it harder to decipher. You won't have to worry about them eavesdropping. You've been listening, so you know why I'm here. Yes. Now, let me see that gun. What a beauty. I've got to tell you, if Skynet wasn't so gung-ho about killing everything, <laughs> what's interesting about it is that the matter inside is far more condensed. That way, it releases more energy on discharge, dealing much more damage. And also, its plasma blast is violent, so that's different. Can you bypass the encryption lockout so we can use it? Alvin couldn't. Alvin couldn't bypass an egg timer if his life depended on it. I'll do it, but it's not that simple. First, you'll have to bring me Skynet's latest security codes. Security codes? They will allow us to access Skynet's mainframe. But they change them regularly, so I need you to connect to any HK unit and download the newest security codes. To do that, you'll need my code reader. When I was... Excused from the shelter, they made me leave all my equipment behind. Alvin should have my code reader. Okay, is that everything? As far as the security codes go, yes. Then I'm moving out. Actually, I've got a question about that infiltrator that you have there. Is it intact? Or more specifically, its neural net CPU? I've been hacking Skynet's units, and I'm noticing similarities in their patterns. I think I'm ready to reprogram the CPU from that infiltrator. It's more powerful than any other. Should I ask Baron about that, too? No, 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 she can't know about it. She would not approve. I know how this sounds, but you need to steal it for me. What? I'm the only one that can reprogram that chip! For some reason, Skynet has started to learn at a geometric rate. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming, and I believe that having an infiltrator on our side will give us the advantage. Just think about it. Commander. Rivers, what's the status? Max alive. He will help us, but he needs a device he left at the shelter. All right, we can do that. Report to me when you get back. Over and out.
I have to say, you're doing quite well without my help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. Quiet is good. Quiet means we're not getting shot. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. Welcome back, Sergeant. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to visit your house. Oh, don't worry about it. I can't have you risk your life to satisfy my curiosity. Wait, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I think you should leave the shelter. Leave the shelter? Don't be silly. You're not getting cold feet over the whole end of the war thing, are you?
Huh, you're back. How is Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Is he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? He wanted me to steal a CPU from that infiltrator. Huh, of course he did. And since you're telling me this, I'm assuming you're not going to. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Have you heard that Dr. Max still alive? Yeah. You might forget my hand. Alvin! Huh? What? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes. About that. Um... Do you remember that day in downtown? I do. It was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device? And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So, I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for a machine. What do you mean? Those look like fives to you. Uh, Ryan. Commander's waiting for you. Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. But hopefully we won't have too much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before machines hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos that I'll never forget. In the good days, they don't hurt, and I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit, give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. 
I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I am. That's what I thought. It needs to be done, Jacob. It needs to be done. Commander. I'm here. Good. I marked the location of Max Code Reader and the battery pack on your map. Let me know when you find them.
Wait! You shouldn't be here. Skynet's right around the corner. Yeah? Show me a corner Skynet's not around. You can leave now, because I'm not opening this door for anyone or anything. I'm just here to help. You want to help me? Fine. Go to my hideout at the metro station and bring back my transmitter. Then you'll help me. All right, I can do that. How do you know I'm getting closer? There are still plenty of resistance sensors in the area. I see everything. I'll be your eye in the sky. Great. All I need is the battery. Alvin, I'm halfway there. Well, that's not quite true. Once you get the code reader working, you still have to find an HK to connect to. But don't worry, I'm sure they call them hunter killers just for intimidation. Uh-huh. 
I've got the code reader working. Good. Now go look for an HK. During the attack, our team heavily damaged an HK tank. That's your safest bet, but be careful. The area is filled with Terminators. If I were you, I'd sneak past them.
something Baron would say, right? See a Skynet antenna up ahead. Looks like they set up an outpost here. Should I engage? That's not your main objective, but I'll leave that up to you.
We've got a problem. That HK is still functional. I can't get near. You need a rocket launcher to even make a dent in that thing. You better find one. Got it. I'm trying to analyze its weakness. Okay, its power supply is located on its back. Shoot it. Hurry, Skynet's reinforcements are starting to show up.
shot. Now get the cover until it returns to the scanning machine.
Down. Good job, Rivers. Download the security code and get out of there. I need to take a nap. That was exhausting. Got it. Moving out.
I've got the codes. All right, then let's get right to it. Please insert stolen security codes now. Strike a key when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. That's it? With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass-produced. We need to hurry before that happens. That infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless... Oh my god. They will do it. They will finish the TDE. Finish what? TDE, Time Displacement Equipment. For all intents and purposes, it's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that you'll be watching your younger self learning to tie your shoelaces. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is really big. So if it's done, then... What the fuck can we do now? We can still fight for this future. Our future. You could stop Skynet before they finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron... What are you doing? Did Commander Baron order you to do this? Please, please think about it. I'm the only one that can stop Skynet. You need me.
Commander. I'm here. Is the thing with Mac taken care of? It is. But I have some news for you. Go ahead. Here's the man of the hour. Sergeant, are you taking a tour with us? Repeat it back to me. Know your target, and what's behind it. And what else? I think these ones have a five second fuse. Do you need anything? Can I see your heart? Can I see your hardware? Rivers, just when you thought shit couldn't get any more crazy, this happens. So what now? With the infiltrators coming out and news of a fucking time machine, Connor wants to finish this war fast. Are we prepared? Nowhere near. That's why an all-out attack is our only option. Alvin managed to locate Skynet's central core through the hijacked satellite. It turns out it's right under our nose. It's in the basement of the old Griffith Observatory. So we're moving out. You are. Connor wants me to stay here to coordinate the attack. And his North Division is heading to stop Skynet from sending anything through the time displacement equipment. So this is it? It does seem that way. You better get all your things sorted. Take your time. You're leaving in a couple of hours. Dismissed. <laughs> 